Welcome to Vet Ranch Roundup. I am in front of Dallas Parrots right now. It's sort of going to be a different day, obviously a different intro, but I also thought that it will help me to ignore the hole in my heart where Kiki and Squeaky might usually be. I have to say it, if you don't know their story, check out a couple playlists. That way you can learn their saga and see their happy ending. But um anyway i am here because we're doing something fun today i'm doing a talk uh with a fellow youtuber um called the parrot wizard and we are going to talk about mental stimulation in parrots because as you know birds are a passion of mine they've always been a passion of mine i've recently just gone off the deep end though um <laughs> and really embraced that but we are going to talk about mental stimulation in parrots get a trainer's take a vet's take and a crazy bird nerd owner's take so it should be an interesting uh roundup but we are also going to go back and check on our little hairless puppies and do all the things we normally do so stay tuned uh let's just go inside and see what's happening and <laughs> go see if we can snuggle some birds <laughs> He's transferring to Arizona. Gonna go on a plane. Come he on. was surrendered to the shelter and he's 15 years old. Come on, people, let's do better. I'm not saying somebody couldn't help it if somebody passed away or whatever, but think about your pets and your will and your end of life plans. Don't forget to include them because when we're gone, we wanna make sure they go good places, right? Why is his fur like that? It's like short on the sides and right here. Probably fleas, and I will try. Oh, he just gave me a little headbutt. Oh, look at his little leggies, buddy. Skin's looking better. Beep, beep, beep. This one is silver. The latest. 9.8. Good job. 11.6. 7.4. Look at that. I gained a pound. I know how to eat y'all. I know how to eat y'all. <laughs> Everybody, go. Who's this one? Purple. <laughs> Silver. Blue. So the last one that came in. Yeah. Blue. That is green. Red. Oh my goodness. Look at the face. Guys. I lost the one in the baby. I lost the one in the baby when inside. I lost the one to be. Oh, you have toys out here? Huh? Just make a little mole wrap. Oh, hi, Mama. Is that your toy?
we are FIV positive, which is not good. Um, so sort of like our crimson, but he's such a friendly guy. We're gonna figure out what's going on with his giant abscessed face. Maybe he got bit by a snake, I don't know. Right now we're gonna go ahead and put on some flea and tick prevention, give him some pain meds and some antibiotics, and then tomorrow we'll sedate him and neuter and figure out what else is going on with this poor face. Right, buddy? We need a name, Ryan. <gasps> Can we name him Ryan? Sure. Yay! Ryan. Here's our big guy. He is sedated now fully. And he looks like he's just had an old jaw injury. Like maybe he was hit by a car. Who knows? Because he's got broken teeth and his jaw's misaligned. And that's too broken as well. That's missing in the back. His eye actually looks okay. So. You know, he's already got antibiotics on board. Today we're going to neuter him, vaccinate him, get some blood for blood work. Look at this, this is a lifetime of the Tomcat right here. Poor guy, he had a rough go. Here's Ryan's dental radiographs. They are so sad. This is his lower jaw and then his lack of jaw right here. This is all missing any bone. Um, and then here is his upper jaw where all of his teeth are gone in this section. Um, but yeah, poor guy he must have just been hit in the face with something or hit by a car, but he's just got so much bone loss and trauma to his face, but he's still pretty. We love him. Ryan, he can blink. I was worried about facial nerve paralysis. Buddy. Your nails look good, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's start some eye ointment and see how he does. What, what, oh, now look, we can wow. see. Look at your big eyeball. Today can be the day that you get adopted my little friend, my little angel. We have a meet and greet, which sounds very promising. I won't be here for it, but it'll be interesting.
guys, we are wrapping up another roundup. It was such a fun time visiting Dallas Paris. I always love going there. It's really hard for me to leave without getting another bird, except for the fact that birds are expensive and a big, 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 big decision to make. I just also want to give another shout out to this book by Michael Sazen. He uh, is awesome, has so much great information about owning a parrot, the benefits of it, the reasons not to get a bird, and then has a really cool flow chart. I just want to show this a shout out. It looks really busy, but this is a great book. You should really think about purchasing it, but it talks about companionship, lifestyle, and health, and how those three things um, are so important to making a healthy, well-behaved parrot. So please, please, please think about doing your research before you get a bird. That's all I'm saying. Whatever path you pick, pick it, stick to it, do your research. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Consider subscribing, consider donating because without you guys, we could not do what we love and we will see you next time. Bye. We're gonna say bye to her friend. Hi, dear. Tell her bye. She she loves you. Show her bye. Why are you obsessed with me today? <laughs>